Our next storyteller, please give it up for Colin Ryan. For as long as I can remember, I've wanted to live a life of passion. And this was motivated a lot more than I want to admit by the fact that I've seen the movie Braveheart a lot of times. <laughs> Braveheart's a story about passion, right? It's a story about a group of people who were not afraid to die, <laughs> but rather to not truly live. This also played a pretty significant role in the fact that after college, I did the scariest thing I'd ever done, saved every penny I had, and I moved to Scotland. Let me just say, if you are gonna live in Scotland and you've seen the movie Braveheart, that is not enough information. <laughs> They've made some updates. I'll never forget the first time I saw a castle and then across from it a Taco Bell. I got my first real grown-up job at the Royal Bank of Scotland, which was in an actual castle. To be clear, I worked in the mailroom of the castle. For six months, I sat in a tiny dungeon-like room, and I sorted bags of mail into slots. A life of passion. <laughs> my coworker was a 52-year-old Scotsman named John, and John was hilarious. The day I introduced myself to him, the first thing he ever said to me was, all oh, right, you're American. But do 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 And you can't even be mad. That's the most adorable way to stereotype 300 million people. Being an American and a guest in his country, I wanted to see as much of it as I could. So on weekends, when John spent his paycheck at the pub, I spent mine on train fare. And I traveled all over the United Kingdom. I climbed the towers of Oxford. I stood on the giant's causeway of Northern Ireland. I stared down from the white cliffs of Dover. And on Monday morning, I would go in and I would tell John all about it. It became like a little game. John would ask me, usually while nursing a hangover, where did you get yourself to this weekend, Colin? And I would say, oh, John, I went to the island of Iona. I stared up at the 200-foot high stained glass window in the York Minster Cathedral. I went to England and I saw the stone circles of Castle Rig. Have you ever seen them? And John said, the only circles I saw this weekend were under my own eyes. John was never funnier than when he was complaining. And every day, when someone irritated or inconvenienced John, he would stand up and announce how many days he had left till he could retire. <laughs> He'd go, eight years, seven months, and 12 days. So in that accent, it was charming and depressing at the same time. John could complain about any subject, and he often did. One time I challenged him. I said, John, say one nice thing about your wife. He thought about it for a long time. And then he said, well, she can be quite considerate. <laughs> and then he added, it comes at a price, though. <laughs> That's not nice at all. That's some negativity ninjutsu. Why are you so good at being miserable? And that's when it started to dawn on me that in life we are surrounded by people who can inspire us. Either they inspire us to be like them or they inspire us to be anything else but them. I call them reverse mentors. Yeah, it sounds like you know some. Don't tell them. They don't want to know that. And in that moment, John became one of the most inspiring people that I have ever met in my life. Because John taught me that while it is fun and often funny, complaining about your life is not the same 
as changing your life. John taught me that you don't just get to live a life of passion. You have to choose it every day. You have to fight for it. Fight like you're in Braveheart. I wonder if John knows that I will always be grateful that I sat next to him for a few months. Because that short time in that tiny room changed my entire life. Every time I have found myself on the wrong path, I thought of John, and I found the courage to keep searching, to keep working, until I built a life I'm passionate about. And you'll know when you find it, because the only thing you'll want is to have as many days left as possible. Thank you.